So, I have talked about. So I've talked about a variety of ways we can make toilets quieter, and I've talked about making hinges quiet, quieter, and all this for bathroom stuff. All this could be very, very useful for bathroom stalls, for people with sensory processing difficulties, with privacy and stuff. But something that really irks me that isn't as much of an issue with design is just that can we make the bathroom stall more from top to bottom so there's no way a person can peek underneath it and deal your little kit. We can see who's in the bathroom or something. It's just an extra layer of privacy they'll help you with nervousness around there. Then let's make sure that all of them are very, very tall so that people can't see up, up especially in newer buildings. With, uh, with um, the blow dryers, can we also get rid of a lot of blow dryers in many cases because they spread germs and they've been shown to spread germs and people that are sick hell, use, uh, or so you could argue use up more energy or not. You can make both arguments, but with with healthcare and stuff, but you have the paper towels do use up a lot of um paper, and I can see your argument that paper towels are less environmentally friendly. But if we figure out better ways of um composting, maybe we can make up for that. Or incinerators, plants, or something. So I don't fully see it, but go back and forth in my head. Well, another thing we could do is we could try to make it, um, we could try to have also little sinks in certain bathroom stalls so that they just are a little more quiet for people, like their own little separate bathroom stalls. Maybe that's not the most convenient if you want to clean out something big though, or for some reason, or for people that are claustrophobic. But I think for some of them it might work. Just an idea to put out there. Other things that could be done to make this whole thing a little more pleasant is you could make the sinks suit out less fast water, but have it over by the less fast and less pressurized water, but it has a bigger stream, so it makes less noise when it hits something. You could have more sound absorbing materials made out of the whole bathroom walls to absorb all the sounds in the bathroom, so this doesn't travel as much, but it's only going to get quieter once it hits a stall. But if you have a curvy design, you can more isolate the sound to certain parts of the whole thing, which might in some ways help the whole thing be more quieter. Definitely not a perfect solution, but all this little ha helps here and there. Another thing that could help is to make the lighting in the bathroom specifically less bright than the rest of the place. And the reason why this I think would help a lot is the more stimuli a person gets, the more anxious they get, especially if they have sensory processing disorder. So lowering that type of stimuli and also making stuff less white but more of a darker tone could help relax and calm a lot of people in that environment. And if you really want to look at something closely, maybe there's a switch to make your particular bathroom stall um, brighter or something like that, or your sink has the light that signs in your one, but it's not always on, most of the time it's a bit darker. Or that the colors are less um, of a, I forget if it's warm or cool, but more of a mellow feeling. Another thing is we need to have more bathroom stalls with accessibility for wheelchair users with things, um, for people that have a hard time getting in and out. Maybe even call button if there's an emergency, because a surprising number of accidents and emergencies happen in the actual bathroom stall. Well, thank you very much for listening. Please like and subscribe, it really helps the channel out. I'm trying to raise a thousand subscribers in a year and 4,000 watch hours, which is really, really hard, but with your help, I think I can do it. Or if you have any ideas for future videos, comments or suggestions, please leave in the comment section below. And if you, and if you really want to, please share it with your friends. Thank you very much again. Goodbye.